What's up, everybody? I mentioned in a, in a previous video just a few days ago about how mobile ads have worked terribly for high rise. They seem to be maybe working pretty terribly for, for companies like Procter & Gamble as well. A mobile situation is very different from being on a desktop. If you want to advertise your YouTube channel on, say, Facebook, it might open up YouTube, but it'll open up in the Facebook browser and you won't be logged into YouTube. And so you probably don't, aren't going to want to sign in. So there's all these little pieces of experience that are not ideal for a mobile user. Whereas if you were advertising on desktop on Facebook and you click it, it'll open up the YouTube tab. You're probably, that person will already be logged in. They can just hit subscribe or like a video or whatever. So mobile's tricky. People aren't always logged into the right things. People aren't in this right frame of mind to really dig into a product in the, in the few seconds they have on the train or whatever they're doing. I say most people should probably be turning these things off. The problem is Facebook, Google, they try to encourage you to automatically by default turn these things on. In the old days of Google, even, even maybe a year ago, you used to be able to, as you're creating a new campaign, turn off mobile ads. You can't anymore. But there's a way to do it, and I'll show you how to do it right now. If you are in one of your campaigns, go in your campaign, there is something here in, if you go to devices, there's a devices thing in the sub tab here. If you go to devices, you'll see computers, mobile phones, and tablets. You can go into bid adjustment. You can go in here and say decrease the bid adjustment by 100%. A $10 bid will become $0. So you want to decrease the bid adjustment here by 100%. I mean, if you get clicks on this, it costs you $0, so bravo. That's it. It's really simple. It's just kind of hard to figure out how to do this. I hope that helps, and I hope that just makes you think, like, think. Is, do you even really want to do mobile ads? And if you're really kind of getting started and trying to find out if, if advertising is, has an ROI for you, I would just stick with one channel. Do, do simple, tiny things versus doing all of it at one time to see if this works, if this works, if this works. If, if desktops don't work, then switch to mobile. See if mobile works for you. But right now, mobile hasn't worked for us at all. So moved all the money out of there. I hope you are having an awesome day. Please like these videos. Please subscribe if you're new here. Every day I upload a new video talking about business and marketing and just getting through life. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.